This is a human thing. This is something that we can all experience. And uh, seeking out help for it is, is the right choice. If you have a brain, you have mental health needs. You know, we eat healthy and we exercise. And so what do we do for our mental health? We all have days where, where mentally we're just not there. And in my case, it snowballed and it snowballed and it snowballed out of control. There's so much going on in the world today, not just the pandemic and the politics. You've got so much, so much stimulation all the time. Add social media into it. All these things happening, it's sensory overload. And I think all those sorts of things just hit me all at once and I didn't know how to control it. I didn't know how to react to it. I really, really started having major anxiety and I started having panic attacks and I couldn't figure out, I didn't know what they were. I needed to know what was wrong with me. I needed to be better and I needed to have somebody guide me and show me, you know, you're okay. I'm gonna help you get better. I'm gonna listen to you and we're gonna work through this together. And it could be something very simple. And we dig down into it and dig down into it and I realized, oh, maybe I've had this issue for a long time and I've just never addressed it. Therapy is empowering and, and you see the strength that that builds in you. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm still the same person. I just am learning to cope with things differently. It's like when you go to the gym and you and you really lift hard or you run hard, put the effort in, you, you'll see some gains here as well. Whether it's trauma, um, generalized anxiety disorder, OCD, depression, um, you know, substance use issues, we, we really treat the full spectrum here. The inpatient stay is usually voluntary or involuntary, and that is, you know, an admitted state to our behavioral health unit. So that's where you would stay for a couple of days while you stabilize. So we have our medications in the morning, and then our program therapy usually starts about 10. And so we'll have a workout group, we'll have some therapy groups, you'll see your case manager, lunch, meals, snacks, things like that. And then you'll always see your psychiatrist every day. Your nurse checks on you throughout the day periodically. And then our outpatient therapy is, yeah, you go see your therapist a week, weekly, bi-weekly, monthly. It just depends on kind of the need and, and what the patient's willing to do. And the neat thing about outpatient is, you know, we, we can meet you where you're at. Here at, at Outpatient BHS, we, we do treat from uh, young childhood all the way up the age range to older adults. Being able to have that in your own community to keep your family close and your friends close and safe, I think is super important. Sometimes it is a distance that can keep someone from getting help. And with Wyoming, with some of our communities being so isolated, I think we lack some of those resources. So our suicide rates are extremely high. Us, Alaska and Montana kind of go back and forth on being the highest, but we definitely stay in the top three. So before the pandemic, our unit was maxed out constantly. In the past four years, it really picked up. But then with, um, with COVID uh, and the pandemic, um, we just saw it just shoot through the roof. Your outpatient providers are full. Your therapists are full, your psychiatrists are full. I think each of us has a full caseload. Uh, we have hired on uh, two new therapists and within two weeks to a month, I'll have a full caseload. I think therapy can affect the community because again, it gets the individual involved. You know, they're engaging better with work or they're engaging better as a parent or, you know, as a partner. Actually, this is something that's good for you. This can make you stronger um, and, and make the community stronger. Mental health is not gonna go away. It's not gonna change. There's always gonna be a need for it. Donating money so that there's more resources, it's worth it. There needs to be more people that we can talk to, that we can, that, that can help out people that were going through what I went through. I think it I think it did save my life. I think it did.